So I thought I'd do something a little different than what I normally do, which is pin reviews. Um, the other day I purchased a, a pair of in-ear monitors uh, from iBassos Audio. They're the IT01s. Um, they're essentially uh, their entry level uh, ear, ear monitors. They make two different uh, models. Um, obviously the IT01s and then also um, uh, an upper brand one that's a little bit more expensive uh, um, which I believe is called if you look at their website it's under portables it's the iBassos IT03 and those are um, uh, $249 uh, the IT01 entry level ones are $100 um, this is the box that came in try to keep this in, in as focused as much as possible that's the back I bought these from Amazon and I did get the option to have the blue monitor and the red monitor they also have an all black monitor option as well and that's what the presentation box looks like and in here there's a little like envelope inside there is the um, uh, pamphlet information and then also your, your warranty card and then there's the warranty card Kind of go through the pamphlet because there's some interesting. There's quite a bit of information in there. It's just safety instructions. And there's some information on frequency frequency response. go through that so you can kind of see it. I don't know much about this, but some of them might. That was just in there. And then just basically how to insert the monitor, how to plug it in to the cable, and so on. And then it goes on, I believe, in, in Chinese. So, um, Getting back to the monitors themselves, I, like I said, they're they're rather they're small looking, um, but when you put them in your ear, because like I said, I, well, I don't know if I already said this, but I did open them already and I've I've worn them for a while. Um, they do protrude a bit. That was the right side. Excuse me, I have terrible allergies too, so. I like how they have very minimal uh, writing on them, which is kind of nice. This is the left side monitor. They do have, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they have two vent holes there, too. Now, when they came, they actually came with um, a silicone tip and I put the, the foam tips on them instead. And they do provide two sets of foam tips, one medium and one small. Um, which I wish they had a large in there, because that's, that's what I needed, but at least it gave me an idea what, what to order, because I've never tried the, the foam tips before, and I, I do like them, so I'm going to probably order a set of large. And then it came with a really nice case. And inside the case was the cable itself. That's pretty much how it came with the cable was just kind of wrapped up inside there. Then they also had um, additional uh, silicone tips. So like I said, there was uh, one large, one small foam tip, and then the rest are all just silicone tips. Put those down the side. So the cable itself, um, if you look at the website, they say it's a... Uh, uh, four wire um, handmade copper uh, cable 
um, and it terminates with a, what I believe is a standard. Thing. And then if you notice on there, there's a little uh, blue dot, and that indicates which which uh, side goes to which monitor. Same thing here, there's a red one. I think it was, the one thing I will say about like these monitors, I believe, I think they were really well thought out with the way they were designed. And then, um, and then it's the end. And it's cold plated. There's a little bit of branding there too. So the monitors just snap together. So you just take the blue, or the, you know, take the blue monitor and attach it to the blue dot. And there's the red. So um, they do have a bit of like a, almost like a hard rubber goes around your ear. Now I will say like these look like they're heavy, but they're not, and it's very comfortable to wear. I wore them all day yesterday, and uh, there was no issue. So I think you know the one thing I will say about these, I for the hundred dollar price, they they are. Um, they feel like a much more expensive item. They're not just the presentation, but the actual materials and the product itself just has a very nice quality about it. And even though this is uh, some sort of acrylic, um, you know, I do a lot of, like I said, pen reviews, and you kind of can tell that the material that they used in this is extremely nice. Um, also, you know, they didn't just in the in the plug with just a regular plug. They have a metal. Uh, in there too with a, I guess it's like a protector in there. So I was impressed with the, very impressed with the quality of the, the monitors themselves. Now getting to the sound, I will say um, that they're some of the best sounding uh, headphones, in-ear monitors I've tried. And though I haven't tried very many, I have um, essentially uh, been looking at different uh, different ones. I purchased a couple. Um, I uh, I bought really what I, I still consider very good uh, the Final Audio E two thousands, and um, you know I was, I was trying to find something that I could uh, replace my over ear phones with when I go out because you know obviously I didn't want to wear like large bulky earphones. I still wanted, you know, good sound quality. And the finals are, are very nice. I mean, they're not as detailed as my other earphones I have, but they're amazing um, uh, earphones. Well, these surpass the finals. Uh, if you, anyone has tried those, um, like I said, they're very good, but these are even better. Um, you get much more sound separation in them. The sound stage is, is really great. Um, the bass is very good. Um, detail is excellent um, you know I, I, I'm not an audiophile by any means but um, I do know what sounds good and these definitely sound very very nice um, I, I would essentially just you know would recommend them for a hundred dollars I, I really don't think you can go wrong with it it seems like you know considering as much as you can spend on on monitors now these are single dynamic drivers and there's so many others out there that have, you know, triple drivers and all these different things going on in them. Um, but I, and I picked up a, a, a pair, of, uh, I think they're dual driver. Um, and they, they're pretty highly rated. I can't remember which, which, which ones they were, but, um, yeah, I don't know. They just seemed like the, they were start, slightly strangled is what the sound that was coming out of them. This is, they're, the Ibasos are, a much more open sound. So um, you can also hear, you know, all the little subtle, to, subtle nuances in the music. Uh, I was listening to some Seal the other day on them, and you could literally hear him take a breath. 
when he was about ready to sing, I thought that was kind of cool. And, um, you know, the same thing with um, Adele, I thought, you know, the, uh, uh, there's a certain song that she does, and there's a guy in the background that kind of says one, two, three. Uh, you can sort of hear that on these monitors. Um, you can't really hear them on any other on your, any other earphones other than like a really good pair of over ear uh, earphones. Um, I have some Barodynamic um, T seven seven zero, I believe is what they are, and you hear every everything. And those are more reference um, monitors, but every little mistake. Sometimes you think, oh, you know, like did the people really mean you know to make that sound this way? But um, you know, it's amazing how much stuff is left out on, you know, your typical pair of um, uh, uh, earphones. And, uh, you know, I, I just think, you know, these are very detailed and nice. They're, in my opinion, and I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I think they're neutral sounding. Um, you know, they're not, like, punched up anyway. Um, but they're just, you know, a very uh, pleasant sound that's easy to to listen to for all day uh, wearing. Anyways, uh, that's basically all I have to say about them. I, I would recommend them highly to anyone. Um, hopefully you'll find this review uh, helpful. And um, feel free to like the video or let me know if you don't. And uh, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.